Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings again and again. Oh, welcome uh, to Church of Jesus Christ, uh, the Orthodox Church. Uh, Orthodox means the correct faith. And today in the Gospel, the Lord said, you must have faith in God. For whatever you, uh, if you have faith, Whatever you uh, say, if you want to say, like, take this mountain uh, that is standing there and uh, remove it into the sea, it will happen to you because uh, uh, this is uh, the power of the faith of God. By faith in Jesus Christ, we receive the, uh, the forgiveness of sins. This is the biggest miracle of all times when uh, they wash away. Uh, the blood of Jesus Christ washes away our sins and uh, no longer the sacrifices are offered and uh, because uh, where is uh, forgiveness of sins there is enough sacrifice when one was sacrificed on behalf of all uh, that is Jesus Christ he is the Lamb of God he is the Son of God he is uh, the Redeemer, He is the Savior, He is the Christ, He is the King, and uh, He is the Priest who offered Himself on behalf of all, and for one time. That is why there is only once we serve Mass during the day, the liturgy, and as it is called in the uh, Orthodox Church, the Mass is uh, normally people know in uh, Western Church how it is not called. And uh, that is, uh, comes the priest mass, the mass dedicated to Christ. So uh, this uh, sacrifice is for the whole uh, eternity, right? The one day represents the whole lifetime. So, and uh, Jesus Christ uh, sacrifice is one. So it is enough and sufficient for the remission of our sins and uh, for our reconciliation with the Father, for our sanctification, for our deification, for our adoption, and for our breakthrough to uh, our Father through all the heavens, through all the space. That is, comes by the humility, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of grace, by the power of the uncreated energy of God, which is a uh, 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 invisible and uh, which uh, is uh, active, his uh, uh, natural action because God is love, love, God is wisdom, God is justice, God is uh, everywhere, everywhere present, he is the fire uh, which devours the unworthy and uh, he is uh, the one who is merciful and charitable and touches the hearts of all men uh, so they can uh, uh, believe and and uh, come to the knowledge of the truth Jesus Christ said I am the truth the way and the life nobody comes to me except uh, uh, nobody comes to my father except through me and uh, that is uh, what who is the center of the church service, who is the center of our prayers, who is the center of our liturgy, who is the center of our preaching and evangelization, who is the center of our missionary work and our charitable work and our church construction and uh, our, um, um, our life and death. And whatever we eat, we uh, pray to God and we thank Him for our food. And uh, He's the center of uh, um, the whole universe, of whom the angels um, are in awe and in amazement and uh, in wonder. And uh, there is boundless wonder, is boundless knowledge of God that uh, uh, we are approaching now in the, the heavenly witnesses of the saints and the angels and uh, they keep uh, being in amazement and that is a good feeling right uh, it's a good um, uh, to be in amazement and in awe and to tremble and it is uh, uh, the words of the prophet uh, who says and um, through whom rather God says on whom shall I look on the one who is uh, lowly and meek, and he trembles of my words. And the prophet David said, 
uh, rejoice to the Lord with fear and work to Him with trembling. So it is good to be pious and to show the veneration because the hope of uh, Jesus Christ that He gave to us will never be ashamed. Whatever we do for the sake of man, money, glory, for the sake of uh, uh, pleasure will put us ashamed. And uh, all, what, sooner or later, uh, everybody will just uh, uh, laugh at us. If not on this world, then definitely on the last judgment day, when uh, all the deeds will be laid bare. But God sees every intention and uh, every mind and every thought and every hidden wish. And uh, when he sees there is a hope in him, he will never put a shame in the person. So let us hope in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, uh, the, the, uh, have that hope and not do anything. And uh, let us not, which brings us to despondency eventually. Because that is what uh, the hope for this life that we need. Nothing is uh, worthy of hoping in this world, but Jesus Christ comes into the world and becomes part of this world. And uh, he gives us the true hope, the only one and true hope uh, that is in him. And uh, as he said, whatever you ask from the Father, and uh, you will be given unto you, but you have to forgive your sins uh, to those who sin against you. So uh, we ask that uh, we receive forgiveness and that we enter into the heavenly kingdom and that we will fulfill our Father's will and uh, that, that His kingdom come and His will be done. And that He give us uh, the bread or the communion that this affects our uh, uh, essence, our nature and uh, that He uh, Send us the guardian angels so he can delete, de deliver us from the temptation and deliver us from uh, the evil one. Amen. Let us say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say. Lord. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, according to thy great mercy.